good morning it is 6 19 a.m friday december 9th um just want to let you guys know that since the last ending of the last vlog i have not gone to bed i officially pulled an all-nighter i ended yesterday's vlog at around one o'clock a.m i pulled an all-nighter you guys i had some brand deals to finish um so i just submitted that around like 4 a.m and then I ended up getting more work done. So I am literally watching the sunrise right now. It's now 6.20 a.m. and I'm going to bed. Although I feel very energized and not tired. I've never started a vlog like this before, but sometimes this is life. Um, it is such a blessing to be able to make my own hours and work from home. Um, but sometimes it's quite bad for me because I don't have a schedule sometimes because I'm able to make my own. So sometimes my life is like the opposite of a normal human being schedule. So like when our friends and family are up and running around and want to make plans, I'm dead asleep. So I actually probably should get some rest, but I do have a two o'clock PM meeting. So I will be up before two. I'm gonna try to get some rest. It is so cold here at six o'clock in the morning. Oh my goodness. I think I can see my breath. <sighs> Casper, baby, are you done? Cause I'm freezing. Oh my God, goodbye. Come on, boys. As you can tell, it's dark out. I woke up at two from my meeting and went back to bed. It is seven o'clock. I am officially screwed. I don't think it gets more realistic than this. Uh, I don't even know what to do. I just don't want to live like this anymore, you guys. I think we need to clean the house. I feel like the house is semi-messy and it's like throwing my mindset off and I need to get back on track. It's like seven o'clock and I just woke up. That means that I probably won't go back to bed at a normal time. I need, what do you guys do to get your schedule back on track? Do you pull an all-nighter, not sleep tonight, and then conquer all of tomorrow so you're exhausted tomorrow night? I did order Raising Cane's. I woke up starving, and I also woke up with my period. Um, so there's that. So we ordered Raising Cane's. So we're just waiting that for that right now. And since I'm on my period, I also got Krispy Kremes. Ooh, they are nice and warm. Look at that highlight. Wow. 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 Okay. We also got Raising Cane's. Best toast ever. And then we also got chicken. If you guys have never had Raising Cane's, wait, have you guys had Raising Cane's before? Let us know in the comments. We discovered Raisin Canes a few years ago. Before, honestly, before my mukbang channel, I had no idea what Raisin Canes was, if I'm being quite honest with you guys. Carlos has decided that he wants to eat a chicken in between two donuts. Are you sure that's a good idea, Bubba? I don't know, I mean, I Here. see it all the time. Here, Bubba, choose your two. Oh, I don't think I'm doing two, I think I'm gonna split it and then. Oh, here you go. Oh my God, it's so warm. Nice. I'm gonna take a bite of one. Do it. I love being on my period. It's so good for me. Okay. Oh my god, it's so good. Baby, this one's mine, okay? Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna do the whole, like, go all out. I want real food. I'm just gonna do, like... I'm just gonna do, like, like that look. Ooh, do you oh, think it'll be good? I think so. Let's see. Is it good? Carlos did donut and chicken. Baby. Hmm. You didn't show our friends. That's so rude. Are you going to show our friends now? Hmm. There's nothing special to it, you guys. Yeah, but they want to see. Don't you guys want to see? I just got chicken, a donut. All right, go get a glazed donut with mm. um, uh, raisin canes. There's nothing new. It's, Baby, it's a, mm. 
Can you get the Chick-fil-A sauce for us? Mm-hmm. Gracias. Gracias, mi amor. This is Dr. Pepper. You guys, I've been so into Dr. Pepper lately. Okay, it's good, but like for like one or two bites. And then it's like, no. <laughs> Can you touch me the maestro? Here you go. Thank you. Oh, snapples. We only. What's going on here? So good. Oh yeah, we eat canes with Chick Fil A sauce. The cane sauce is not bad. It's just if I that, prefer. If you have some Chick Fil A sauce laying around, or if you happen to buy some at the store, mm -hmm. and. You have a canes nearby, you should try it next time you guys have a chance. It's really good. To be honest, the Chick fil A sauce with any kind of chicken or anything is really good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Here. Get a big bag and put it in there, baby. Hello, I'm in my studio. I'm on low battery, so I feel like. I feel overwhelmed again, okay? And so I just wanted to sit down and have a chit chat with you guys. I honestly don't even know what I wanna say in this segment of the video. Um, I just know I'm feeling really overwhelmed. And I don't know if it's because like we have the small business launch coming up. Maybe that's why I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. Um, Vlogmas in general for me is like really fun. Like I love daily vlogging and hanging out with you guys and that's not the problem. I think the problem is I just expected this Vlogmas for me to feel just like last year's and I don't know what it is in whether it's in my life or maybe you guys are feeling it too. Like please let me know in the comments if maybe you also feel this way. I don't know what it is. This year feels so different. And every person that I've gotten a chance to talk to has somewhat said the same thing. And I don't know if it's because like last year we were all so excited to celebrate and like we were all in the holiday spirit and like excited to see like friends and family again because the year before that was 2020 and we were like all locked up in our homes. So I don't know if 2021 the energy was just higher because we were all like cooped up in our home the year before. And this year, maybe this is real life. Like, I feel like maybe this year is like how it felt every other year before 2020. Another thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is I also don't wanna post like BS half-ass vlogs. Like if I mentally am not there and I want to mentally be there, like I want to do Vlogmas and I want to post a vlog every single day because I love, I genuinely like, I don't know if you guys can tell, you guys can tell, but I genuinely love hanging out with you guys. But I don't know why, I just feel like I'm in a rut. Like I just feel very um, discouraged. I just feel uh, overwhelmed. Um, I don't know. I mean, if we're gonna get technical and like wanna talk about the business size, side of YouTube, I feel like no one's really watching my vlogs. Um, and so I kind of feel like, oh my God, like did I leave you guys for too long? Cause I know in November I only posted two videos because we were just so busy. And so then automatically, you know, as a self-employed person, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, my career is over. <laughs> like I'm sure a lot of people who like have their own business or maybe you also make YouTube videos, whenever content doesn't do well, you're like, fuck, my life is over. It's done, it's over. I need to I need to figure out a different career route. I'm just being honest with you guys. Like I don't think we've ever had such an unfiltered conversation before. Also, my camera is about to die. I'm also running on like not a lot of sleep, I feel like, like normal sleep. Not like Kim, you got 10 hours of sleep already. Like a normal schedule. So I feel like my mind is like all over the place. So I think I need time to like gather myself and reorganize my thoughts and moving forward. I'm at a place in my life and I don't know if it's because I'm 29 hopping into 30. Please, please, please let me know how you guys feel. But yeah, I don't know if it's because I'm at that place in my life where I'm 29, I turn 30, in 2023 and so I'm reevaluating my life. 
is like, is this normal for me to feel this way? Am I like, am I reevaluating my life? Like, am I like, oh my God, am I gonna be doing YouTube in my 30s? Should I be figuring out something else that I should be accomplishing in life? Like, is this going to be my set career? I think that I'm thinking too far in advance because you guys know I have an issue with that where I overthink, I'm trying to hold myself accountable here. However, you can't help but think that way when you're 29. I'm like, okay, got married. Got it, bought a house, have some awesome dogs, awesome husband, have a great paying job, bills are paid, food is on the table, you know? But I just feel like, I just feel like I'm not where I wanna be. I feel like there's more. I'm also so fucking scared of failing. I don't know, I'm always like worried about failing in life. And I think that because I'm moving into my 30s, I've reevaluated my life a little bit more. I think about it a little bit more these days. You know, because when you're in your 20s, you're like, ah, oh, I got the rest of my life to figure things out. And then you move through your 20s and then you're like 29 and you're like, oh shit, I'm 30 next year. And I feel like I should be figuring out this next part. But I am also reminded that there are people that tell me, hey, you're never gonna have your life figured out. You'll be like 50 you know, sitting there with your grandkids or whatever and you'll be like still figuring it out. So I know that life is such a journey. I am of word vomiting. Um, I don't know if you guys also do this. I just happen to do it on the internet so the whole world can judge me. But I know that there are other people out there that feel this way. I also really miss posting mukbangs and I think it's really hard for me because I wanna do so many things. I have to find a balance. Okay, now I'm really word vomiting. I don't really know what this sit down unfiltered talk is, but I just want you guys to know that I'm figuring it out on my end. Maybe you guys can help me. Is Vlogmas too much for you guys? Are you guys even watching Vlogmas? Be brutally honest in the comments. Like, I wanna know the truth. Are you guys tuning in every single day? Not to watch my Vlogmas videos, like anybody's. Like, all the vloggers that you follow on YouTube. Are you guys watching Vlogmas this year? Because I personally reevaluated and I, I'm finding that I'm not watching Vlogmas this year. So maybe that's the thing. Like I'm barely catching up with my favorite vloggers. But like throughout the year when they're posting like one vlog every two to three days, I'm on that shit. Like I'm watching every single vlog from beginning to end. But for some reason this Vlogmas, one, I don't feel the holiday spirit. Two, I feel like content is being pushed in every single outlet by almost every creator. And I also feel like I'm not tuning in to my favorite vloggers. And I love, love vlogs. Like I love watching other people's vlogs. So I don't know what it is. Like, are you guys watching religiously? It's different than last year, right? Like I feel like last year we were all in the holiday spirit. I feel like moving on in 2023, I want to be able to really get back to why I created videos and not focus so much on the numbers and like this and that and like all the analytics that go behind YouTube. I genuinely feel like I just moving forward next year, I just wanna watch, I just wanna post like videos that I love, whether they do good or bad. Like I just wanna be able to like, get back to creating. I think I I think I miss that. Now that I'm like talking out loud with you guys, I think I miss that. Like I miss that passion I had for creating content. There's like a difference between like creating a good video that's still very relatable and authentic and just like putting a video out there just to put a video out there. Like I feel like this video even though it's like me just like I just want to like talk to you guys and blab out what I'm feeling. I just feel like I don't have that same like like fire inside of me when I did like a few years ago. I kind of feel like a machine. Does that make sense? Like I kind of feel like a machine right now. Like I'm like a robot and I don't want to feel this way. I think I also just feel like um like I don't I'm not like very confident in myself right now and I don't feel secure um in my future. Um, I'm not making sense. I'm really doubting myself. And it's not even people. It's not anything doing with the internet or people. It's really like, I, th I think I'm like really overthinking or battling something with myself. Maybe I need to go to sleep early tonight and then actually wake up at a normal time 
and be on a schedule. I am such a type A anal person that when I'm not on a schedule, I do feel a little bit not like off. Carlos says that he is gonna take over a vlog, <laughs> maybe tomorrow. I don't know, what do you guys think? If you guys, maybe in the next vlog, Carlos is gonna take over the vlog channel, which I think will be a very fresh new perspective for all of us. I don't know, is anyone else just feeling kind of blue this season? I don't know, let me know what you guys are going through in the comments. I really appreciate reading all of your comments. Um, but I've been starting, I started feeling this way back in November. I just didn't post a lot in November for me to express myself, but it's like a lot of content. Like imagine like just 100,000 YouTubers posting a video every single day. Like it's so much content to consume in a day, you know? I don't know, I don't know, I know. Hey, let me know if you guys have any advice. Maybe you listen to this whole thing and you have an idea.